Hello everyone and welcome to this demo on the Firepower Migration Tool, Release 1.1. I'm going to show you how to use this tool to optimize your ASA configuration before migrating. I'm going to launch the tool and log in using my credentials. We are going to talk about this new feature that came with Release 1.1 called Connect to ASA. You can enter the IP details, SSH credentials and enable password of a live ASA. And once you have supplied that, the tool creates a secure connection to the ASA box. If you want to optimize your ASA rule base as part of this migration, collect hit counts is the option that you need to enable. We will check this box and click on start extraction. This is where the tool gathers information from the ASA. Once the config has been extracted, the tool displays a summary. You may want to note that the tool has found 102 access control lines, 360 network objects and 174 port objects in the ASA configuration. We are going to use these parameters to validate that our optimization is working. We can click on next. Step 2 is where you connect to the target firepower management center. We will enter the details and click on connect. Now in release 1.1, Objects, access rules and NAT rules can be migrated independent of the FTT device. Because this demo focuses on optimization of rules and objects, we can choose to proceed without the FTT. An important feature here is migrate only referenced objects. When you check this, only objects that are used in access rules, NAT and static routes are going to be migrated. Click on next. Since we have chosen to proceed without an FTD, step 3 and 4 of mapping physical interfaces, security zones and interface groups will not be required. We are going to focus on the last two columns which have been introduced in release 1.1 for optimization. The first is hit count. In the filter for hit counts, if I choose 0, the grid is going to display all of the rules that were never hit on the ASA since the last time it was restarted. You can then choose appropriate actions on these rules. The second column is for displaying when was the last time a rule was hit. Here you can define a filter to search for rules that have not been hit over a period of time since the ASA was restarted. In our example, we are going to look for rules that have not seen traffic on the ASA for more than 10 days. You can then choose an appropriate action for these rules. In our example, we have 56 access rules that have not been hit for the last 10 days. We are going to choose the action to not migrate these rules. We will then click on the validate button to push the configuration to the firepower management center. The validation is complete and a summary page is displayed. Because we chose not to migrate some rules, the number of access rules that are going to be migrated now is 46 as compared to 102 rules that we had found on the ASA configuration. Notice that the number of network objects and port objects have also gone down. This is because we chose to migrate only referenced objects. So the tool has cleaned up not just the access rules but also the associated objects. You can then click on push configuration and the tool will start loading the configuration onto the firepower management center. Once your migration is complete, you can download a post migration report for auditing purposes. You can also log into the firepower management center to validate that only 46 of the access rules have been migrated along with the associated objects. In summary, we had a look at how the Firepower migration tool helps you in optimizing your ASA configuration. Although it gives you a clear picture on the rules that have not been hit over a period of time, we recommend that you perform due diligence on the rules that you decide not to migrate. I hope this demo was informative and thank you for watching.